you mentioned this group of people, uh, the, the Jason scientists. I mean, they're kind of the old wizards. They're kind of the elders here. And they were a bit of the oversight to kind of say, hey, listen, some of these things are not good ideas. But tell us, who are the Jason scientists and are they still in power? Well, I'm so glad you brought up the Jason scientists because they're so interesting to me. I interviewed Murph Goldberger, who was one of the co-founders of the Jason scientists. He just died last year. But when you think of the Jason scientists, and if you have any viewers who, you know, kind of follow conspiracy theories, the Jason scientists are often considered right up there with the Illuminati, meaning the perception is that they are kind of these wizards of science, maybe in a mm -hmm. nefarious way. But in fact, I found out quite the opposite. They are very level-headed scientists. They continue to advise the Pentagon, but they're extremely secretive about what they do. Most of their reports are classified when they're going on. I read more than a dozen Jason reports that have been declassified. But they're, again, this level-headed group. And here's the rub. The Jason scientists, for the most part, are full-time academics, mm -hmm. part-time defense scientists. And there has been a shift at the Pentagon, which in my reporting I found troublesome, that the Jason scientists are becoming less important at the Pentagon, and what are becoming more important are a group of scientists called the Defense Science Board, the DSB, an in-house Pentagon think tank. And if you look at the credentials of those individuals, you will see the majority of them are full-time defense contractors. Mm -hmm. So there's a missing link, and again, going back to what Eisenhower warned about, if that loop is closed, if the same people who are advising the Pentagon as to the weapons to make to fight the next wars are the same individuals who are going to financially benefit, then you really do have that military-industrial complex that Eisenhower warned about so many decades ago. It concerns me because when you talk about this, this new group, I mean, they're not that much different than lobbyists. No, not at all, um, except for they are different because they're actually in the Pentagon in a position to advise the Pentagon, who in turn directs DARPA. It's even worse. How to go. Absolutely. And again, this is just something that deserves knowledge. These are, these are unclassified documents I'm referring to. But the DSB is pushing 100% toward autonomous warfare, toward hunter-killer robots taking the pole position, where you take the human out of the battlefield. What was also interesting is I found out in my reporting that many individuals at the Pentagon don't like this idea. They believe that the human needs to stay in the loop, but you have the powers that be still pushing toward hunter-killer warfare.